my beautiful soul, my little fireflies who want to light up the world through their business. It's me, Maria Guyon, here from Wild Fox Alchemy, and this is your reading for today, Thursday the 14th of January 2021. Where is the time going? Can't believe it. I keep thinking, well, it's still New Year. We're halfway through January almost. It's bonkers. So, I've got my tea. I've meditated on the cards. This is, as always, a message for the collective. If you would like a personal reading with me, please see in the show notes below how to get one of those. Uh, you will get a reading, you will get a video recording, just like this one, of your reading, and a PDF showing you the images of your cards and a brief overview of the messages that came through. So if you'd like to do that, there are details in the notes below. Today I feel drawn to the Herb Crafters Tarot. I think I got a bit excited because I realised that the rosemary on the mountain is flowering and it's so beautiful. I love rosemary so much. And so, I don't know, I just, I think my excitement at the rosemary flowering and the possibility of making some new rosemary flower essences just made me feel like I wanted to do the Herb Crafters Tarot today. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're not struggling too much and if you're on lockdown here I am keeping you company and I hope you enjoy that and uh, we'll get cracking I'm gonna have a slurp of tea though oh I love tea I drink Rui Bows but I, I keep hearing that it's supposed to be good for me but I don't know whether it is or not if anybody can tell me what the health benefits are of drinking Rui Bows tea I would love to know let me know in the comments I'd really like to know so this is a three card reading. I always say it's a three card reading. Sometimes, as yesterday, it ends up being four. Sometimes only two. Sometimes it goes on forever, depending on the messages and how clear they are and how knuckle-headed I am at picking them up. Sometimes I need to clarify a little more than just three. Now, sometimes these messages go past, present, future. And sometimes not. I am an intuitive reader and clairaudient. And we will see what messages Sprit brings forth. I'm going to pop a little crystal on the top of those to keep them steady because they're trying to fall off. What have we got? We've got the Hermit. We've got the Emperor. We've got the hija of air. She is the daughter of air in Spanish, which is the equivalent of the page in traditional tarot. So we've got two major arcana here and a page. Okay. So we start with the hermit, which is usually about being alone. Now, how, is this what you've been doing? If you listened to my reading yesterday, I was advising that you use the energy of the new moon to set your intentions and to put a strategic plan in action for 2021 and maybe even five years time so that you know what you're going for and you can go for it. Um, so maybe this is representative of you there doing that, taking some time, soul searching, looking for your inner guidance um, you know, sort of really, really going inside yourself, being alone for a little while to, to really think hard about what it is you want or don't want out of your business so that you can make a plan to move forward into 2021 in a different sort of way. Now, that leads us to the Emperor, which backs this up, that, you know, the Emperor is all about authority. He's the father figure. He's about structure putting structure into things so again this is following on from yesterday's reading where we need to be looking at you know we've gone inside we've set our intentions we know what our plans are we've decided what we want for us and our businesses and then the time is now to put that structure in place i've been an idiot <laughs> there you go <laughs> admission of the century i've been an idiot um I've run businesses before where I've flown by the seat of my pants. And when it comes to planning, I've maybe made a financial business plan that has been to appease a bank manager to get a loan or 
you know, to apply for things basically and I've put the, the business plan together but it's never really represented what my business has been and I've never really planned on a, a proper level you know maybe even on a daily basis what I was supposed to be doing in my business I would make appointments to see clients but I never sort of had any structure of how I was going to market what things I was going to buy what things I was going to create how I was going to do it you know, and all this sort of thing. I just, I was hopeless at it. And because of COVID and because we were locked in and because I had extra time to do stuff, I did start making plans last year and I've got a little bit addicted to it. I've learned how to use a spreadsheet finally after, I don't know how many years, <laughs> so that I can, you know, plan out what products I want to make, when I want to market them, what the pricing is, you know, how much I've spent to create that item and how much money I need to charge for it. And I found it really freeing. I thought it would strap me down. And being a Gemini, I don't like to be strapped down. I don't like to be tied to anything. I don't like to feel constricted or, you know, like I don't have the freedom to just flit around and do what I want. Um, and so I've always looked at planning a business and, and putting strategy in my business as something that is, you know, going to tie me down. But actually it hasn't. It's made me feel a lot freer because no longer am I sitting there um you know, sort of panicking and and getting upset about all the things that I feel like I need to do. Um, I would get overwhelmed, so overwhelmed with stuff. Yet having this strategy says I sit down in the morning, I look at my Google Calendar and it says, right, today you're going to create products for three hours. You're going to put some social media posts up for an hour. You're going to walk in the woods for a couple of hours with the dogs and all this sort of stuff. And that structure has actually freed me from a lot of mental stress. So I do recommend it, putting some strategy in place. And if we put that strategy in place, we've got the Iha of air here. Air is also swords, uh, which represents new ideas, thirst for knowledge, new ways of communicating. Very interesting that this is a messenger telling you that you're going to get these new ideas. You're going to find new ways of doing things that will take you forward. That by putting this strategy in place, by taking the time to go inwards, to look at what you really want, to put the strategy in place, you will then be given some really great new ideas. This card is all about communication. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to have a little look at the book on that one and see what the book says because... Why not? The e heart of air is catnip. Right, this one. It's actually telling you to try something new. Return to a beginner's mind. It says the sky is clear and blue on a bright spring day. Sage, lemon balm, catnip and California poppy fill a small garden. A cat slumbers barely noticeable in the catnip. The soft, pungent herb curves around the cat's head like a wild green mane. A girl plucks a sprig of catnip in her right hand and gleefully reaches towards the sleeping animal. The Iha of air invites everything to be her teacher. She observes the cat and playfully follows her into the catnip. Like this herb that grows wild through the garden, she lets the world around her inform the direction she takes. She approaches learning with the innocence of a child. She may revisit a well-known subject with the curiosity of a beginner. Just as catnip settles emotions with its refreshing medicine, she sets her feelings aside and communicates her observations and questions clearly. Try something new. Well, I'm just going to say, so, <laughs> say something there. I have a couple of cats. Uh, a couple of the, well, one was born on the mountain and I found him just a few hours old and we raised him from a tiny baby. When we give him catnip, it turns him violent. Does anybody else have that problem with their cat? Because he, he just, honestly, he starts boxing everybody. It's really strange. And I thought it was just him. And then we brought his brother inside about a year later. Uh, well, I say, he's, is it his brother? Yes, he is. He's his full brother. And I brought him inside. And lo and behold, everybody else has catnip. And they just crash out. They're so chilled. And these two start going at it. Like Holyfield and Tyson. It's incredible. I don't know. I've never, I've, honestly... It's bonkers. So I'd love to know if anybody else's cats are a bit like that. Because <laughs> this is crazy. So yes. 
going inside, working out what you want, creating a strategy. And now thinking about this from a perspective of learning new things. Sometimes it may be that you want your strategy, but you don't know how to do it. So you're going to have to go out as a beginner and learn how to do these things. So, for example, I was saying I, I restructured my business completely during 2020 because COVID destroyed it, basically. And I had to change the way that I was doing things. And one of the big things that I did was look at the way that I wanted to market things. And initially I'd started off only being a service based business. And then I thought, well, all these wonderful things that I make the flower essences, crystal essences, there's worry people, you know, all these things that I've, I've been making, um, I would like to sell them, which changed the way that I wanted to market my business. I didn't want to market on Facebook anymore. I didn't want to market on Twitter particularly. Um, but what I did want to do was market on Pinterest. But I know nothing about Pinterest, or I knew nothing about Pinterest. I've taken a masterclass since then and started to learn way more about it and it's been fabulous so it's been fascinating to learn about it if you want to follow me on pinterest you can look at the little icon on the youtube thing it's a baby 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 um platform at the moment but i'm hoping to grow it so please please do follow me on pinterest um so yeah sometimes we have to when we look at these strategies don't make the mistake of only building a strategy based around the things that you already know how to do it's okay if you need to learn new things. It's fine to learn new things. And so that's what this message is telling you here today. Build your strategy. And if you need to learn some new things, then crack on and learn them. Because, you know, knowledge is, is, is power, my friend. I love knowledge. I will never stop learning. I've always got a million courses on the go at, at each time. I love learning. I think the day that I stop learning... Goodness, I don't know what would happen to me. So I thought what I would do is I will end this reading with a card from the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed And this is your man for today, the Eagle Spirit. The Spirit has your back. Think of the eagles flying high above the other birds and soaring on the wind. Eagle spirit has appeared to ask whether you're willing to soar to new heights, even if that means solitude for a short while. Truly, all the wisdom of the world is available to you. When storms flash across the sky, it is eagle spirit that raises you above it all, helping you conquer fear and overcome adversity, reminding you that spirit has your back and wants you to experience life at its fullest. At this moment, you are meant to know that you have the highest wisdom and courage within, gifted to you by spirit and all the angels. Boldly build your nest in a lofty space and know that now you can fly effortlessly, proudly embodying eagle spirit in all her glory and grace and claiming what is truly yours in divine timing. Protection message. If you are walking awkwardly and feeling embarrassed, eagle spirit is here to tell you that it is only because right now you are meant to fly. Soar over the troubles that have you feeling scared and alone. See the big picture, yet retain your eagle eye for the details that help you claim your wisdom and courage. Or perhaps you are making yourself small for the sake of getting others to accept you. Now is not the time to be vulnerable and dependent, for you have the wings to fly on your own and you need to do that at this time. There is no need to huddle in a shelter or even to seek out a flock to support you, for Eagle Spirit says you have tremendous wisdom and courage within. Let it arise so that you might soar proudly with the angels serving as the wind beneath your wings. From these heights, you can make the best and most powerful choices for the highest good of all. So that draws all this in. It's about being solo. It's about having everything that you need inside of you to make your business and your project work. So I hope you enjoyed that message. I did. I like it. It's a good one. And with that, I am going to slurp some tea and I'm going to go and get on with my day. So I hope you're all all right. I hope you're doing all right. And I will see you tomorrow with love and magic always. This is Maria saying bye-bye. Adios. Hasta luego.